This is Amid Yaimi Gemara and Shabbos. Daf, Yudha Dalid, Amid Aleph. We're holding the bottom of Yugimu Amid Beis. We're about 10 lines from the bottom, we're by the two dots, and we're about to discuss the famous Shemayna Asar Davar. The 18 Gezeras that remain in that attic, maybe it was 16, depending on the two Lashinas that we had yesterday, whether it's Elu or Ve'elu, whether the Brisa of Shem, the Mishnah of Shemayata and taking out the, the Kinim, the Lice, is included in these Gezeras or not. These are famous uh, Amudim, Dafim coming up, dealing with the intricate laws of Tum of Atairas, that's where these Gezeras are going to come. One word that we have to know before we begin is, usually, how does Tum of Atairas work? We, something is a dead body, is an Av, or Aviyah Vaisa Tama. When that touches something else, it makes it into a Rishon, of primary. When a Rishon Latoma touches something else, it makes it into a Shani Latoma, Shlishi Latoma, Ravi Latoma, etc., etc. However, Toma does not go forever. Toma, different items go to different levels. A person can only become a Rishon. Eichlenu Mashkin, food and drinks, could become a Shani. And that's it. Which means, if something is... Shlishi, for example, which we we'll talk about in a moment, and it touches food. Food is still tar because food cannot become lower than a shani. Truma and kachin, holier foods, which we can understand, is more more uh, susceptible to be makabel tama due to its kedusha. Truma can become a shlishi latama. Kachin can even become a revi latama. With that one data knowledge, siyat de shmaya, everything should be clear. So again, 10 lines to the bottom, Ushmein HaSadavar, Gazru says, the Gemara, my new Ushmein HaSadavar, what were these 18 things? De te nana, we begin, Usha Mishnah in Zavim. Elu Paisel Misa Truma, the following 10 items make Truma Tame. Now let's remember, as we just said, Truma could become a Shlishi. When Truma becomes a Shlishi, that means it is not allowed to be consumed because it is Tame. Or for in order for Chuma to come a shlishi, it comes in contact with a shani. So there's ten items that we're gonna list right now, which have a din of shani litama, thereby making chuma into a shlishi. Number one is if a person eats a rishain. So he the person touched the rishain by eating it. So he becomes a shani. When he touches chuma, Chumas a shlishi. Ha'echel echel sheni. If a person touches a sheni, here's a chiddush that we're going to have to explain. He doesn't become a shlishi because, as we mentioned, the person cannot go lower than a sheni. But he himself remains the sheni to the point that if he touches chuma, becomes a shlishi. Number three, Asher Yisim Ashkin to Mayim. So he drinks liquids that are Tameh, he becomes a Shani. Now we go into other Gezerahs. Havar Rosh Hashanah Mayim Shuvim. If someone goes into, into a bath of water, of drawn water, or Vitar, Atar, Bersin, Shnafal Rosh Hashanah Mayim Shuvim, Shlesha Lugim Mayim Shuvim, they pour on him three Lugim of Mayim Shuvim, as we'll see, special Gezerah de Rabbanans, that a person becomes Tameh, the level of a Shani Lutama for taking a bath, and taking a shower. Vasifer, all svarim, kisvei kaidesh, have a din of a sheni. Yadayim's one's hands, a tzvul yayim. So who goes to the mikvah and he's waiting for the sun to set. Vaichlin, vahakilim, shenitmu, bimashkin. Food and liquids that became tame. With, uh, food and drink, no. Oichlin and kilim, excuse me, food and utensils that became tame with liquids. Those are the 10 items and they become a shani, thereby creating that if they touch truma, the truma is a shlishi and is tame. Says the Gemara Mantana, who is this Tana that holds these 10 items become a shlishi, the shani, thereby creating truma to be a shlishi. Says the Gemara Who is this Tana that holds that one who eats a Rishon or a Shani, he himself becomes the level that if he were to touch Truma, it would pass. What does it mean it would pass? As we just explained, it would make the Truma into a Shlishi. But Timuye Loi Mitamu. It would not be Mitame the Truma. Now, what does that mean? Tame and Pasal, isn't it the same thing? The Truma is a Shlishi and you can't consume it. This is almost a word game, but a very important word game. When we say something is puzzle, 
that means it itself is invalid, but it cannot continue making something else possible or tummy. We see it's like it's tame, it has tumma to the level that it can impart tumma to the next level. Amar Rabbi Rechano says, Rabbi Rechano, you know this time it is in the top line of Yudalim and Aleph. Rabbi Yeshua, he did tonight, but there's an amish. Rabbi Yezer, I'm a loyach, 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 One who eats food that is a rishin, rishin, you're a rishin. Oyach, loyach, shani, you're a shani, oyach, shlishi, you become a shlishi. So Rabbi Yezer holds you become what you eat. Not like we said. We're going with whom? Rabbi Yeshua. Rabbi Yeshua, I'm a no. Oyach, loyach, loyach, What do you become? It drops down the level. A shani. Oyach, shani. Both of those you become a shani. Shlishi. If you eat a shlishi, then we have a chadish. And shani, like chadish, you become a shani. For Kachim, Vein Shani Lechuma, because those things that Shani for Chuma didn't eventually get to, as we said, Kachim goes even until a Re Vee. But Chuma does not. B'chulin Shinasu Al Tairis Chuma, what are we talking about? A Shlishi? This is for Chuma, excuse me, this is for Chulin, that was prepared with all the Allahis of Chuma, all the Chumras of Chuma, etc., etc. Says the Gemara, so who is the Tana of our Mishnah in Zavin? Who's going to be the first of these ten Gezerahs? Rabbi Yeshua. Says the Gemara, Why Lemaisa do we say that you're Tame if you ate a Rishon or a Shani? Meaning, what's the purpose that we're making you a Shani? That if you touch Truma, it's a Shlishi. There's obviously something that we're safeguarding. Says Gemara indeed. You might be eating food. It's tame, which is fine. You're Yisrael. You could eat tame food. But with that tame food, you take a drink of truma, which is tar. And in your mouth, vishadi lepume, you put the drink in your mouth while you're chewing. Upasalu, and it makes the liquid of the truma possible. That is what we're concerned about. That's why we said that you are a Shani if you eat Tame food, thereby separating you and not allowing you to put those liquids of Chuma in your mouth. Next case, with Shei Mashkin Tame, you drink Tame liquids. Might have goes be Rabbanan. Says the Gemara, the same thing. The same thing, Shasa Mashkin Tame, you might be drinking a liquid that is Tame. And the reverse, Vishakal Eichlin Chuma, you might put a little bit of Chuma in your mouth. Vishakal Lepume, you apostle, lay, and make apostle. So that's another concern. Says Gemara, I know, ach, it's the same concern. Says the Gemara, no. It's not the same concern at all. Ma'u the tema, or about 15 lines down, the first line is pasale. Ma'u the tema, I would have a hashchichi. When I'm eating food, the concern that I might put liquids of chuma in my mouth, that's common. Because while you eat, you drink. But the reverse, while I'm drinking liquids of chuma to go put tummy food in my mouth, that's not so common. So maybe we'd have to make xira on drinking chuma liquids. Kamash Malan, that we have to. Now we go into the next cases. Someone who goes into water, it's like a bath. The majority of his body in his head and drawn water. My time goes be a bunch of Why do they say that such a person becomes tame? That if he touches chuma becomes shlishi and, and you cannot consume. There was a story that happened. Originally, people would go to the mikvah to come to her. In where bimim arais in cave water. Now cave water was mechunasin. It was stagnant. It was ruchin and smelly. It was collected in the caves. It was a kosher mikvah. People didn't enjoy the stench, the filth. So what do they do afterwards? They would pour over themselves mayim shuvim to clean themselves from this cave water. After a while, you know what they did? They started making the shower part of the mikvah ritual. So Gazulayim Tama Sarbanim said, the shower makes you tame. Says Mara, one second. My Keva, what does it mean they made the shower Keva? Amar Abayu. because people would think not only is the mikvah metaher, you need to both go to the mikvah. 
take a shower, and have the Mayim Shuvim, which of course could be a travesty, seemingly, because you think you need an extra thing. Who cares? You're going to the Mikvah. So what's the difference if you have this mistaken notion that you also have to take a shower? No, you know what used to happen. They would say, and they would think it's not the Mikvah, that's Mitar. And that, of course, could be a travesty if someone thinks they only need to take a shower. And that's the reason why of Gzir number four, they said that the shower makes you tummy to the level of a sheni that if you to touch shuma, it becomes a shlishi. What's the next case? Vitar shnafal arisha v'ruba yishlo shalugim ayim shuvim. My time goes to be Rabban and Toma. Why in this case is there Toma? Tilei ha. Because if we didn't make a gzir on this case, look how me ha. The previous case. So this case, if even just poured water was poured on you to safeguard the previous case of the bath of ayim shuvim, they had to make the gzir to uphold the other one. This sefer, with ten lines for the bottom, first line is ha. We said all sifrei kaidesh. Again, they used to write them on scrolls, of course. Was a tame. My time goes to be rabbanon. I'm rabbi shesh. It's chil originally. How you matzlin as oichlin de truma itzel sefer teira. Where would people store their truma, which of course is tar, next to sfarim, because they know sfarim are tar. Vamru and people would say hi kodesh, hi kodesh. So it's not inappropriate to put my food next to my sfarim. But what happened? Give the chazik aslib seidam. This farm were getting ruined because the mice were coming due to the food and they were eating through this farm, eating through the cloughing. Because we're Rabban and Tamas, they said they're Tamay. And in order so that they don't put this farm next to the food, one's hands they made it Tamay. Why? Then they should die in his name because their hands touch everything and therefore they were guys their Tama on one's hands. Tana, we learned in a rice. So, have you done my boys? Machla safe. You know, let's stop over here. Pick up continuing one's hands in the next year of the Siata Dishmaya.